Hi guys, welcome back to the Humble Gamer channel. I am the Humble Gamer. This is some more Call of Cthulhu. Now, last time we found some stuff out about Captain Fitzroy and uh, this woman, Cat, who controls the docks. But we managed to outfox her two men by getting them to go and beat up and possibly kill um, a drunkard. You can sort of see that happening just next to my face there. They don't seem doing anything at the moment, but let's investigate this lock, shall we? Oh, it's very dark. Shoot. I'll have to find another way to get in. Oh, great. Can I definitely not do that? It's no use. The padlock won't give. Ah. So now I've got to find another way. An well, well. A little mouse has got lost on our turf. Oh, okay. You're not only inquisitive, you're also stupid. Okay. What gave you the crazy idea to come onto my turf? I'm gonna stay fucking silent. See what she says. Has to the that. cat got your tongue? You've come for a fight. What I've got to say won't change a thing. You're a quick learner. He makes a point. I decide who comes in and who stays out. And anyone who doesn't respect my rules, I punish them. So your cat. Is your name cat? What of it? Maybe we can come to an understanding. Maybe. Or maybe not. Oh. There's gonna be a dagger in my back now, isn't Get there? Get this joker out of here. He might have a little trouble walking on his own. I'm getting careless. I'm okay now. I didn't see that coming. If I want to get into this warehouse, I'm going to have to deal with her. No, please. If my tongue got ahead of my senses or something like that. Hey, tell him to calm down. It, it was just a little joke. So I've got to deal with Cap. I want to go and have a look at this statue at the end of the jetty, see if there's anything I can, de anything I can do down here. Hmm. Must be so oh, it's very green. It's very green. Saint Brendan. Patron saint of sailors and travelers. Desecrated. Yes. I can't even say which language it's written in. I've no idea what it says. Hmm. So, something is happening. Cat, gang boss. Imagine that all the men on Dot Wonderfield, even Mitchell, the owner of the Stranded Well. She used Dot as a point of departure for her cargo of whiskey, and she is slowly gnawing away at Captain Fitzroy's territory. Yes, she is. Okay. What am I going to have to do about Cat then? Damnation. I broke it. Damnation. Good word. Good word. Can I hop up here? There's got to be a way I can get into warehouse. What should I call it? Thirty-six. There's got to be a way. Let's see if I can talk to this guy again. You again? I told you to beat it. No need to get. Oh, is that? Oh, that's fine. That's fine. That's all I can do. Okay. Right. 
so. I'm going to have to deal with Cat. Okay, let's see if we can, let's see if we can come to any sort of accord. Hey, Mitchell. A drink for our new friend. New friend. I owe you. You don't know how to fight, but at least you've got guts. Yeah. Aching, Aching guts. guts. Huh. I've got them too. But you don't hear me whining like a pooch who's lost its leash. You didn't back down. It's something that I respect. Okay. So understand by that. If I catch you again, you'll carry a more permanent reminder of our encounter. Tell me, what brings you to Darkwater? I'm investigating the deaths of the Hawkins family. It's very nice of you to tell me the truth so openly, but it's also really stupid of you. You really don't seem to know the area. Let me give you a little advice. Okay. If you want to survive more than a day in this rat hole, yeah. avoid talking about them to the first people you meet. Is that more dangerous than having a drink with you? Yeah, I thought I'm you were the dangerous kidding. one. The old families, they were here long before us. Okay. And they'll be here long after we are gone. Probably. The old families. The descendants of the first whalers. These people truly worship their ancestors. Okay. You must know Dartworth. I've got a few well. questions about the island. I'm not here to give you information. Mitchell will tell you what he wants to tell you. Okay. I need help to get into the warehouse. I need to get into the Hawkins warehouse. You're out of luck. It's on my turf. It's precisely for that reason that I've come to see you. Are you pulling my leg? Would I have taken that risk? Think it over. I've seen what you're capable of. And you didn't miss me. I accept the compliment. Well, I see you're serious. Yes, I am. To be honest... As long as it doesn't interfere with my business, I don't care. But I'll go with you, to make sure you don't stick your nose into things that don't concern you. Done. Sounds honest to me. I'm not finished. If I do that for you, if I let you onto our turf to conduct your little affairs, mm -hmm. you'll be indebted to me. Okay. And I guarantee that I always collect on what I'm owed. Okay. Think about it. I help you. <coughs> you'll owe me a favor in return. Do you accept? You're on. Yes. Do I have a choice? Oh, we always have one, detective. Let's go. Follow me. Nobody questions your authority here. I was given to believe that Fitzroy stood up to you. That dope tried to save face in front of his sailors. They revere their brave captain as they do their old statues. Sounds fair. But sooner or later, all statues get buried in bird shit. And nobody cares. I mean, yeah. And the police? They do nothing to stop you? The local cops? The cops drink like everyone else, sweetheart. They know where their interests lie. Apart from that pig-headed Bradley. I don't know whether to admire his stubbornness or to have pity on him. He admired mine. That's no way to treat an omen. Oh, yeah. He's going to get us into trouble. Yeah, they're really freaked out by that whale, aren't they? I'm not sure what I... I, I, I like this game. I like this game. I want to get that out. I would like this game. I'm not sure. It's fine. He's with me. Oh. Okay. I'm not sure quite what um, direction it's going to go in yet. I mean, obviously, it's going to go in a Cthulhu-esque direction. I like this build. I do like the build. The slow... It's not throwing you straight into any horrific events or anything. Apart from the very opening of the game, but that's different. Oh, I didn't spot that mansion up there. Oh, we're going to have to go there at some point, I imagine. Okay. That's how it's done. Do I still need to hold your hand? Or do you think you'll get by on your own now? I'm alright. Don't overdo it. Good. In that case, I'll leave you. 
I've done enough mothering for now. Okay. Ugh, this place stinks. I have now... What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? I suspect we're gonna find out. Oh. Trying to reconstruction scene. Hold. I will do, but I have, um... Search the warehouse. Cool. But I also have a new skill point. I want to... Let's get it. Let's get it. A level of eloquence. So we're on 40% for everything now. I think after that I really want to up my investigation and spot hidden. But then they're actually all really quite useful. So, but either way. But yeah, I think psychology, investigation, spot hidden. I've got enough eloquence now. I don't need to be, to be strong. But yeah, I think I think spot hidden and investigation and psychology, those are the three I really want to to look at. Let's go into the reconstruction scene, shall we? Let's see what this is. Oh, oh okay, I like this. Medicine. Who has enough money to buy painkillers but stays in a place like this? It smells as bad as it looks. Can't sleep. I know how that feels. Yes, yes, she Le did. Petit Parisian. Who might keep a news clipping about Sarah Hawkins? Ooh, who indeed? Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? Looks like it might be. Someone treasures this crumpled picture to the point of sleeping with it. Hmm. I like this mechanic. This is a detective game, let alone a horror game. And that's something I really like about it. The glass is shattered, like someone smashed it. Was it before or after the removal of these bandages? This is good. This is very, very good. I would like to see where it's going. I would very much like to see where it's going. I think I've got everything. Gain a character point, which we're going to stick into. Uh, we'll stick it into investigation. Right. Now, what's my objective? Uh, so I've. Yes. So, okay. So something about uh let me read that again. I didn't I'm doing really bad let's play at this at the moment. <laughs> let me read that again. In the abandoned warehouse I found a partly submerged tunnel that leads to the bootleggers territory. I'm not sure if I was hallucinating, but as I stepped deeper into the dark waters for a moment I felt as if the creature as if a creature had caught hold of me. And I have another clue. Officially unused since Charles Hawkins' death, this warehouse recently housed a clandestine, clandestine resident. Signs of life attest to the fact. The presence of bloodstained bandages must also be noted, probably removed from a wound, as well as pills, painkillers and sleeping pills. Moreover, the occupant seems to be obsessed with Sarah Hawkins as attested by the presence of several documents connected to the artist's life, photograph and press cutting. But its discovery is discovery of a partly charred painting recognised by Officer Bradley as having come from the Hawkins mansion that allows all doubts to be lifted as to the link between the contents of this building and the Hawkins case. Yes, the partly charred painting, which looks creepy as all fuck. But then that's not a shock, because... Of course it's creepy as all fuck. I presume I must now leave and probably get beaten up by somebody. That's usually how this... Someone has settled in here. And whoever it is... Has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? You! Don't move! Hey, Officer Detective Bradley. Detective Pierce. Yeah. I told you to stay away from this warehouse. Why?
Let's team you up. seem like a competent officer. We should help each other. You're trying to manipulate me, Mr. Pierce. I hate to be taken for Just a saying. All right, Inspector Lestrade. Let me take a more direct approach. Oh, nice. Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange portrait. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. Mm -hmm. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene. Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Yes. Come on. My car is parked down the way. Oh, we're going to drive. Andrews, would you please shut the door? Yeah, Open Andrews. Eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. God damn it. Her again. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. <laughs> ah, nice. Why you? Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? I thought I'd straightened you out, mister. I am disappointed. But we'll meet again. I'm sure we will. Is it far, this mansion? Look behind well, is you, it? at the top of the ring. Oh, that was the house I just saw. You see the building? That's the Hawkins mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. That's going to be cool. I'm going to enjoy. I'm going to enjoy going around there. I suspect. Chapter three: Garden of the Hawkins mansion. Pierce managed to get into the warehouse. The place, thought to be abandoned, revealed some surprises. Signs of recent occupation, as well as a partially charred painting. Interrupted in his searching by Officer Pierce, Officer Bradley, Pierce convinced him to join his investigation. The officer was willing to drive the detective to the Hawkins mansion. That's pretty cool. I, I'm yeah, I like this. This has become a, this is a detective game with a slightly occult edge rather than a straight horror game. I like it. I like it. Hmm. I no. I mean yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's a good game. It's a good game. I'm not sure where it's going yet, but it's a good game. I'm pretty sure that Sarah Hawkins is still alive. Pretty sure that Sarah Hawkins is still alive. Probably being kept so by Cthulhu. Or Charles Hawkins is still alive. Mm -hmm. Let's jump into this, shall we? Ah, good old typical Cthulhu esque <laughs> tentacles on the gate. Yeah, someone's definitely living here. There they go. Now, why does the well, police here we are. Hawkins Mansion. have the key to the mansion? I suppose they would just get them, wouldn't they? So that's probably a dumb question. Yeah, the place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. You're not the first person to Your talk about Your partner, Winchester. Andrews, warned me against him. You managed to get something out of that bomb? I'll end up asking you for advice. He talks too much. He inferred that old Silas was slightly unhinged. That's not far off the mark, I suppose. But kind of unfair at the same time. Okay. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? No, let's get the questions out of the way first. You know the place very well. You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. 
That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? I thought the mansion burned in a fire. I see no scorched trees or fire damage on the building. You're pretty damn observant, ain't you? The fire was quickly contained. Old Silas acted as soon as he could. Not soon enough to save the Hawkins. They were trapped in the drawing room. Right. And don't go troubling Silas anymore. His guilt torments him enough as it is. Are we going to take a closer look at this mansion, or do you have other questions? I think that's pretty much all I'm going to... I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards... Okay, cool. There's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though, he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go. Right? Yeah, let's not waste any more time. Night falls quickly here. And I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you. If only to reassure Silas. Okay, cool. Why not? You can help. Yep. Right. Let's go. Let's consult the diary, shall we? Inhabitants. Officer Bradley. And Hawkins Manor. And how am I doing? I'm still saying that's fine. I like being sane, that's good. Reach Hawkins Manor. Well, that can't be difficult, it's there. Going that way? Do we not want to go another way? Okay, no, fine, we'll go this way then. Feel so desperate here. Ooh. Can I investigate this? 1693. This house is much older than it seems. Reverend but John the architecture Whitwood. seems too recent. That's a good point. That's not a 1603. That's an 1800s, but not 16... Hmm. The thick plottons. Ah. Okay. The flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. The old caretaker must be very attached to her. So Sarah's got new flowers. Someone must really hate Charles Hawkins. Charles I told Hawkins. You. Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, detective, does this place inspire any thoughts? Someone desecrated one of the graves. Do you know if Charles Hawkins had any enemies? Not to our knowledge. He was a well-respected personality on the island. Hmm. I don't understand. Silas would never have let such a thing happen. Unless Silas dislikes him. It's a strange final Why were they place. buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Hmm. Mrs. Hawkins' father? said that he's devastated. Let's go to the man. Let's go, yeah, let's go up. Please give me a minute. I didn't expect to set foot back here after the burial. Poor kid. What kind of deranged individual would defile this sanctuary and steal a burnt painting? I don't see Silas doing such a thing, let alone allowing it. Even that broad baker is above that. Lord, have pity on this poor family. Places to get to. Are you, are you coming, Chief? Nope, fine, right, I'm on my own. 
Cool, let's do this. in this hut. Where is Silas's hut? Right, I'm gonna guess the front door is inaccessible. I'll have to find another entrance. Yes. So we can't get into the front door. That's understandable. I didn't expect her to just walk up. Is this literally just... Oh, it's a fallen tree. I can't go that way anyway, so I'd have to go back and have a look. Nice little garden area. He's left the lights on in the... Hmm. This entrance is still in use. Yes, it is. Whoa! You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick! Easy, sir, alright? Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We gut them! Dump them into the ocean! Hey, Whoa. Silas. Uh, uh, uh. You're Mr. Winchester. Lower that axe. Let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. I Sarah Hawkins' Webster. father sent me here to investigate the death of his daughter. Webster, huh? I understand how he feels. But me? I want the dead to rest in peace. And that means kicking the ass of gumshoes like you. Why would you not want me to help understand? Yeah, come on, dude. I've got nothing to hide. Tell me what you're doing here. I'm investigating and no the baloney. The police report describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. Yes, but... He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. That's all. The mansion isn't safe. You would break your neck as sure as you're trying my patience right now. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked. And I make sure it stays that way. So you still put flowers on her grave. You cherish her memory. Mrs. Hawkins was an exceptional person. She cared for everyone around her. Let me shed a light on what happened to her. Give me that key. Hmm. I'm probably making a big mistake, but it won't be the first. Here, take the key and do what you have to do. Thank you. Go on, then. Just to get rid of you. Let's see what more I can learn from this mansion. And we will, but in the next episode. So, thank you ever so much for watching. If you are enjoying what you're seeing, please like and subscribe. Check out the game in the description below. Um, also, check me out on uh, various other platforms. You can find me on facebook.com forward slash humblegamer. Twitch, Twitter, sorry, at humblegamernews. Instagram, at humblegamerinsta. You can find me on Twitch, where I stream once a week, every Monday evening at 8.30 GMT. Uh, you can find me at twitch.tv forward slash humble gamer twitch also check out bxbgames.co.uk and the bxb games youtube page down in the description below uh, it would mean an awful lot to me uh, if you could come and support us we're doing some video game reviews and it's absolutely awesome uh, stuff that we do um, in fact like I said in a few in previous episodes our editor in chief Ben has actually just released um, uh, at time of recording he's just released uh, a review of this very game so please do go and check it out also check out the annotations on the screens about see thank you ever so much for watching I was me that was Call of Cthulhu see you very soon guys goodbye keep moving keep moving keep moving keep moving, keep moving. oh oh god what's he doing over there oh my god Just run